Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. That's a man, my bad. Adam? Man. Hit me up with an old school fart noise. <laughs> Starting up here at the top left position. Oh, please get this right. Zell Enigma. Close. Really? Relatively close, actually. There's a closer Ex than I expected. XL Enigma. E yes. Uh, XL Enigma. Like, accelerate. I thought, I, thought, I thought the X was silent. No. No, it's not. No. It's, uh, Are X it's, is ever silent? Yes. Really? Kind of. All right. And starting down here, we have Father and Noir. Noir. <laughs> You're such an ass, man. Just give it to me for once. Well, I just want. I'm trying. I'm waiting. I, no, I wanted if you actually. No it, end. Right. Backwards W. <laughs> Shut the hell up. It's, My name's Adam, and I can read Starcraft names. It's, it's close. It's close. It's it's. Uh, Fatherender. It's it's uh. uh Fatherender. 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 Fatherender was. It would be how I pronounce that. All right. I'm gonna call him father. It's a it's a weird name. I'm gonna call him way. father. Father. No R in there, but I don't care. I'm making it up. Makes me feel comfortable. That works. Versus Excel. Or rate your breath. Mm-hmm. Um, that was one of the things that they put... Never mind. I'm not going to say it. What? I didn't, nothing. I was going to say something that might have offended a lot of people. Oh, out okay. There. I'm not going to do We've it. We've already done that this week. No, this probably would have offended people. We don't. <laughs> <laughs> you have to tell me later because I kind of want to hear it now. Okay. Whatever. All right. Um, <laughs> actually, actually, I don't know. Maybe I'm getting, the, maybe I'm getting this wrong. No, I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna. Don't even gonna test the waters. Don't even test the waters. We don't. We don't even know. Wow, that's a fail probe right there. That sucks. That just is, uh, as he was getting to the bottom of that triangle, boom, and there's the hatch. Just not. Just not. And any he's still patrolling. He's, he's on now. I can still do it. I swear. I swear. I'm, yeah. See, I'm a I'm a 1930s gangster. See. Yeah. 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 So the core is down. We do have a supply blockage. He did not get a 16 pylon. And I think. That's probably because he was busy down here trying to uh, trying to block this hatch. So that means that the Zealot is going to be late, um, which is you know rough if the Zerg was rushing, but I guess it's really not that big of a deal. I guess most importantly, it's going to slow up his pro production. Yeah, no, at the very most, that's probably what it's going to accomplish here. Did I see two queens being produced off of that first hatchery? You do. Yeah. I did. He's gonna make a queen and then uh, bring him down or bring her down. To oh, the just natural. the the quicker, yep. the quicker way By of doing things. By the time she things. gets her slow ass down here, <laughs> she should be okay. You know, seeing as though how how long she walks, she's still kind of chubby. She is kind of thick. Well, to be fair, for most of the time, she just kind of sits there and throws up on things. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, but cool. again, if you're gonna throw up on things, you again, you would you would expect to be a little. Doesn't the queen mate with everything? And they just give her babies. Is that how the ants work? I feel I feel like I would have known this. I thought that's how ants work. Like, there's one queen, and they all just spread their seed in her. And not, she... not all. It's not like a 47... All right, well, there's like the one macho 40? guy. It's always... For... I hope you ever it's that? always the sevens for you. It's 47. 47 really, or 87. Really, really gravitating towards that, and there's a psychological reason for that. But I'm going to say... All right, let's, let's change the number up. It's not a 75,000 ant gangbang. It's it's I feel I feel like the queen chooses and then and then unlikely as if the insect world wasn't weird enough they probably get killed afterwards. Yeah, well the queen probably like you know what that sucked, and cut off the head. Step your game up. Step your step bite your, your ant game up. Bite your head off yeah. both times. Because your D is the size of an ant. Sour about that. It's a really small. Well, they are ants. Well, somewhere in the world the ants are probably huge. <laughs> the hung ants. Those are the black ants, man. <laughs> We have black ants here! Yeah. Those, uh, well, but they're like this big! <laughs> People at home know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, all that. We have red ants too. Those ones, Th those ones sucks. suck. When you get bit by those bad yeah, boys. Yeah, there's no, there's no fun involved. Hey look, StarCraft. Um, we really? Have, we have uh, a bunch of gates. A fourth gate, a robo finishing, and a nexus, a natural going down here uh, for Excel, trying Relatively to uh, excel his way through this game in the mineral department. We also have Father down here praying 
that Excel isn't excelling his way through this game. In the mineral And department? hoping that he could father him and school what? him in the Excel program on how to play this game. Woo! Yeah! Killed it! Killed it! Say something! <laughs> Killed it! I don't even know how you got that. I'm getting I'm thought. getting a like on this video for that. <laughs> Killed it. Where did that train of thought even come from? I don't know where it came from, but it came. Oh man. What she said. This has been a this has been a good day for you. This has been an awesome day for me. You've had a, you've had some good games. I've been today. having a great day in general, Adam. I went to go see the Avengers. That's true. That was probably the most epic movie experience I've had since Inception. Which, to be fair, was a very epic experience. Oh my god, I love Inception. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Saying the Avengers was just like everything that you can dream of uh, in a movie experience. It was so amazing. If you guys aren't even into like comic books or anything like that, this is still a must-see summer blockbuster. Hit me up with that collab Marvel. Do it. Excel. Looking at uh, 25 probes to 44 drones. That That's just doesn't great. seem right. No. That just... There's an imbalance in the force. Yeah, no, it just does not... That does not seem right. No. Um, uh, you know, I did see, I believe, yeah, we're just going to have uh, his attack upgrade finishing here shortly. I was expecting more units up there for maybe a plus one on the Zerg. But in fact, he is sitting around with uh, an immortal and a couple of sentries for the most part. While the Zerg pretty much builds up an army of what seems to be nothing but lings. Yeah, and he doesn't even have metabolic boost yet. Roach Roachworn is going down. There is no creep spread in between, which might bite him in the ass just a little bit later on in the game. The lings are moving out now. By the time they get all the way up to the top, it should be pretty close to finish metabolic boost. But there is some sentries over here, and he is going to be able to force this off no problem. A couple of immortals, and he's just blindly getting immortals right now. He doesn't really know what the zerg is to oh no well, oh seen, he does okay. now yeah yeah he's seen the roach worm but these immortals were out before they that were, happened this, this is true so they're pretty blind yeah 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 but i guess he sort of picked the right tech i mean when you're playing against zerg you can almost you never want to assume in starcraft but there's a good possibility yeah they're going to be going all roaches because yeah roaches are are the are the fashionable thing to be doing lately especially against protoss just mass roaches now this this is one of those things that makes this map a little difficult to defend uh, uh one oh, of these builds no! with and, oh no he got his immortals caught outside the gate no you fool oh, oh okay those are some nice force oh, skills oh those force skills have saved that immortal thankfully Beautiful. Uh, but those otherlings are slowly picking away at this rock over here, and he's going to move his forces over to get rid of the threat, it seems, and he will be doing so. Uh, this is one of those uh, things that make this map a little bit difficult for Protoss to defend when they're doing a fast expand like this, is that there is multiple uh, points of entry, and there it is, there! Force field, force in, field, and, oh, sour! Oh, nice force field. Beautiful force field, not allowing Very any nice. of those links to come in, and you know what, no guys? Damage. Uh, even five or six links getting in your base at this point in the game, it may not seem like a lot, but... You know, that can move your, your army over here. You don't know if the, he's waiting with another batch of lings to get in. Uh, even five or six probe kills are pretty huge. Uh, seeing your tech, these are all big things. So, yeah. uh, to me, that force heal is pretty huge, you know? That, no. that denies a lot of information from the Zerg. Even though there is a couple of overlords up here, they're not really seeing a whole lot. Uh, he knows there's a Twilight Council, but really... Not seeing a whole lot. Doesn't even see the robo. No, nope, doesn't see the uh, robo, the which bag. is which is a way more important structure to be seeing right now. As he does get uh, his roaches built up here, he's going to get rid of those rocks and move his way down. I'm sure he's going to be getting his third up here very shortly. Uh, now, mass roaches, even against Colossi, are still very powerful. Yeah. It, roaches are just a damn good unit, period. Yeah, roaches are phenomenal units, and um, they're... Everybody like the metagame is just totally switched at this point. I think the metagame is roaches. Yeah, I, I think I think once uh, once Stefano really started kicking ass with roaches and getting that like that max at like 11, 12 minute mark, a lot of people have been sort of following in his footsteps. And let's not let's you know let's not bullshit here. Roaches have been used since day one, yeah, but exactly. people have really really been They've favoring taken a roaches liking to it. Yeah, and you know what, man. They destroy even immortals because immortals really aren't cost effective or cost efficient. Once the, once the once, army size, once gets the army to gets point. huge, the yeah. only way that immortals can really work is if you, at, at the at the sort of mid to late game against roaches is if you have very nice force fields and you have some giraffes to back them up. Yep. The last thing you want to do is is pure have immortal. is, is pu pure uh, immortal because it's going to be one hit kill now obviously not with these numbers but no. we're talking later on in the game so uh, this is the type of numbers that immortals still work very very efficiently oh, oh beautifully with. you yeah. know uh, this is this is this is still a time that immortals are very very handy uh but you know you get into those massive 
uh, balls of 30 plus roaches and suddenly they're not nearly oh, as it's, useful it's one hit as kills, they used it, to be. And it really does boil down to force fields. So, yeah. you know, if you're in the lower leagues and your force fields aren't great, maybe you shouldn't favor immortals so much, but you can still get them, uh, but start getting giraffes and start teching up uh, a little bit more in the tech tree because unless you have really good blink micro and force field placements, uh, immortals really not super cost effective towards the later game once again. If you're not good with four fields, uh, force fields and stuff. Exactly. Now, something I'm interestingly I'm noticing right now is, uh, luckily for Enigma, it seems that uh, that uh, Father is going right into a bunch of uh, of Hydralisk. Now, this is a bit of an odd move because he hasn't really seen anything that should tell him that Hydralisks are necessary. Uh, and at the same time, Enigma is, uh, or Enigma is getting now uh, his Colossi and Archons, which are two. Hell of crazy awesome counters yeah. to Hydralisks. Yeah, no, it's it's pretty good. I mean, Hydras are never really a bad thing. They're, they have really high the DPS. DPS on them, and they, they do company uh, roaches very nicely. They work very, very nicely together. If you position but them properly. Un but, yeah, but unfortunately, uh, he's really walking into a hard counter. I mean, there is only one giraffe now. Two giraffes on the field. There is an Archon as well. Um, I don't know if he's getting Storm. Has he uh, upgraded or researched Storm? Uh, no, he hasn't. So he's not going to have to worry about Storm uh, as of right now. But, uh, you know, I like I like the Hydra move. Uh, he's got quite a bit of lings there. This is just well, a scary-looking... Well, the food count period is heavily in Father's favor right now. Oh, I yeah. Mean, it I... is a 70 food difference right now. And there's right only now. 43 drones or on the field. 68, if you want to be very accurate, I suppose. Yeah. Now he's maxed out. So, at this stage in the game, it is going to boil down to force fields. Yeah. He's not going to be... I don't care what you have. You're not going to be able to walk into this uh, and live with this. So no. it's really you're, you're, no. it's, it's really going to boil down to force fields. And he's going to be able to two-prong attack from this location, actually, oh. which is going to be very... And he is immediately going to do force that. He's going to send his links in the back. He's going to get one force field up, but not enough. Some links make it inside. This the... is a great positioning for Enigma. Those yep. force fields are epic. Those giraffes are tearing apart the roaches and hydras. These roaches are trying to get in here. 3-1, 3-1, 3-1, 3-1, 3-1, 3-1, 3-1, 3-1, 3-1, 3-1, 3-1, 3-1, 3-1, 3-1, 3-1, 3-1, 3-1, 3-1, 3-1, 3-1, 